We are watching shares of Yelp surging today as activist investor TCS Management pushes for a sale of the company. That, of course, is the focus of today's Tech Check segment with Deirdre Bosa. So, Deirdre, what are, what are we hearing about the plan and how investors are taking it? Clearly, they like it. Well, yeah, they do like it, judging by that stock pop. And I just got off the phone with TCS's president, Eric Semler. He's the one that sent that letter this morning. And he's making the case that Yelp should consider merging with Angie. That's formerly Angie's list to form what he is calling a powerhouse in the $500 billion home services market. Now, in my conversation with him, Sumler did allow that Yelp is executing on a few fronts. He says it survived the threat of Google, it's grown its home services business, and has, quote, an incredible balance sheet. The problem, though, according to Sumler, is that nobody cares. The stock has underperformed the broader markets over the last five and 10 years. He made the point, too, that there was just two analysts who asked questions on the last earnings call. And more than that, he calls Yelp CEO Jeremy Stoppelman a serial numbers misser and one that he says uses the company as his own personal piggy bank while the rest of us lose money thanks to a, quote, puppet board. Now, he also says that TCS is willing to make a bid themselves to acquire Yelp and he even has his own CEO in mind with public company experience, though he wouldn't name any names for me. Um, Yelp statement, let me mention that says Yelp maintains an active dialogue with our shareholders and values constructive feedback on our business and ways to create value. Semler says that he has not yet heard from the company since sending the letter, though that was just this morning. And he says, though, that he doesn't expect to. He says it's been a frustrating experience owning Yelp shares. But the timing, that may have been strategic, guys. Yelp is speaking today at the J.P. Morgan TMT conference and is expected to meet with investors, as they often do at those kinds of events. With that 9% pop today on the back of that letter, some of those investors may be wondering if Stoppelman can or should be doing more. Of course, he's been in this position before with an activist investor and managed to fend it off. So we'll see if this time is different.